Reaction software is a powerful way to create repeatably accurate tool measurements. Let's get a feel for that power at work by taking a closer look at the parts of the main reaction screen. The info window is the place to enter information you would like included in your tool inspection report. Data you enter here will appear in the PDF inspection report or can be exported to Excel. The fields shown in the info window and printed on the PDF reports can be removed and added by selecting Reports, Tool Report Configuration. The encoder data window is able to show two types of measurement, absolute and incremental. An absolute measurement reflects the distance between the point where the measurement began and the current point, whereas an incremental measurement reflects the distance between the last point measured and the current one. You also see the z-axis, the crosshair rotational axis, and the a-axis, the rotational position of the base block that holds the tool being measured. The toolbox window puts a number of useful options a mouse click away. If you're using a PG1400, the magnification box automatically syncs with the microscope and displays your current magnification level. On a 200 system, you'll need to manually select the magnification number within the software to match the physical magnification setting found on your microscope. Clicking the CW button rotates the Z-axis crosshair clockwise, and the CCW button rotates counterclockwise. One click moves the crosshair by one unit. RTM rotates the crosshair to any location where the mouse is clicked. Click Home and the crosshairs are reset and you're back to the zero location. Under Display, you are able to change the crosshair resolution as well as the crosshair color and the type of lines shown. Click Inch to set all calculation units to inches and MM to measure in millimeters. Open the Annotation Toolbar by clicking the Show Annotation Toolbar button. The Annotation Toolbar allows you to draw shapes, arrows, and text boxes to create your own custom annotations on top of the tool image. Annotations can be saved with a calculation, or you can save an image of the tool or screen under the File menu. CTM files saved on your system can be loaded by clicking here. The CTM file will then be loaded as a simple overlay, allowing you to compare an existing CTM image with the tool now being measured. You can save a live tool image as a CTM file as well, making it available for future use as an overlay in tool tests you wish to repeat with accurate positioning. The Instructions window offers detailed instructions for the specific calculation currently loaded into the software. Reaction software includes more than 50 predefined calculations as shown in the Calculations window. There are multiple calculation methods available to choose from. All calculation methods are quick and accurate, and the right choice typically comes down to the user's preference. Reference our Using Calculations for Cutting Tool Measurements video for more details on the different types of calculations. A demonstration video is available for each calculation by right-clicking. The Contour Edges button enables the user to see what our edge detection sees. This feature can help a user find the ideal focus setting and can also assist with lighting adjustments as well. Enable the Snap Points to Edges feature and the software will accurately locate an edge or radius with a click of your mouse. This feature can eliminate inconsistencies between users and also speeds up the measurement process. The results of any calculations made are viewable in the Results window at the bottom left of the screen. If you wish to save your results, click on the Save button and the calculation results will save to the Calculations Archive window at the top left of the screen. Results can be saved to the Calculation Archives and PDF and Excel reports can later be generated. Scenes and inspections are used to create macros for repeat tool inspections. A scene is a saved calculation for a single tool image. In addition to the calculation data, an image overlay is also created and saved as part of the scene. 
an inspection is a collection of multiple scenes saved together as a complete tool inspection. Scenes and inspections can be saved to the calculation archives and PDF reports can be generated from them. In the Calculation Archives window, clicking the box next to the calculation or calculations you'd like to create a report for, then clicking on the PDF icon allows you to create a customized tool inspection report. Clicking the Excel icon allows you to download the data in the table to Excel or to a CSV file. Both the PDF report and the data shown in the table and exported to Excel can be customized by selecting Reports, Tool Report Configuration. There are many ways to personalize the Reaction software experience. Under Display and Settings, there are many options for customizing everything from the windows displayed, to the color of the text shown on the screen, to lighting presets. We encourage users to explore the many different settings. Under the CAD menu, there's an option to import or open DXF or DWG files. Tool drawings can be uploaded to the screen, locked onto the tool image, and the operator can compare the tool directly to the tool drawing. Many times we will see our customers add tolerance bands within their drawings for a quick pass-fail analysis. Under the Help menu, you will find our PG-1000 and Reaction software manual, as well as a folder for help videos. Our Reaction software videos can be populated here, but you can also record your own videos and create your own video library for training purposes. Reaction software has a record video function under the File menu. PG Inspection Technologies offers all PG-1000 customers on-demand support and remote training at no cost. If you'd like to know more about using Reaction software, feel free to contact us. We'd be glad to help.